right, so we finished up painting the S197 Mustang, and it came out damn good. It's got a good gloss, decently slick, clean, and overall, it looks pretty good. We actually want to take it to the next level and give it the best possible finish we can. So we're going to do what's called a flow coat. And what we have to do to do that is we have to sand over the entire car with 800 grit, clean it off again, tape it up, and we'll put two to three more coats of clear on it. Now by sanding over all the panels with 800 grit, we can get rid of all the texture that the clear coat has. And also, we'll be getting rid of any little pieces of trash or any little imperfections that might be in the clear coat. I'm just going to kind of do a little spot here to kind of show y'all. The hood actually laid out pretty slick, so there's not really much texture to it. But no matter what, I don't care how good you are. Off the gun, it's always going to have some form of texture. So I don't know if y'all can see that slight texture it has. The hood is slick, but like I said, no matter how slick you lay it out, there's always going to be some kind of texture there. See a little bit right here. We've got a small dust nib here. All right, see right in this area? You can see the texture. That's what I would call a minimum factory like peel which doesn't give it a bad appearance but when we're looking for a glass like finish we want all the texture gone see the texture right there we're trying to knock all that down by sanding it you can get rid of all that texture so you can kind of see around the edges and stuff like that now i'm not going to run a block over it. i'm going i actually like to Use the DA and the interface pad. We got the 800 grit. We'll get the sand of this thing down. So let's jump right into spraying the flow coat. Now, with the flow coat, what you want to do is you want to use a slightly slower hardener or reducer in the clear so that way it gives it more time to flow out in between coats also you don't really want to put it on too heavy you just more or less want to get it up there and let the product work for you just make sure you're spraying it evenly and uh, don't get too much build up so you don't have any runs I'm spraying with a SADA 5000 with a 1.3 fluid tip and the gun set at full fluid full fan and I'm spraying at 29 to 31 psi with the RPs I like to spray at a little higher psi it seems to atomize the clear better and you get a finer peel I will finish up the quarter and then we'll move to the doors and I low-key cheated by laying the doors flat it gives it a makes it easier for the clear to lay out slicker I'm picking out a piece of trash there and here's a second coat I ended up doing three coats of clear and you're gonna see in a second it laid out like glass All right, so I've actually got a lot done since the last time I turned the camera on. As you can see, I've got the whole car pretty much put back together. I've also sanded and buffed everything. So there's no peel, no trash. 
everything's super slick. Door panels on, all the trim is back on, the rear bumper's on, so pretty much the entire car is put together except the hood. And what I want to do is kind of give y'all a quick rundown of my process of sanding and buffing. So the first thing I like to do when I sand and buff is use this little fest tool. If you don't have one, you need to get one. This is the most badass tool you can have when it comes to de-nibbing or sanding out runs or nibbing trash or anything with sanding and buffing. There's a piece right here. This literally just cuts the head of it right off. Makes it easier to sand it down when you get to the sanding process. The next part, we'll buzz the whole hood down with 1500 dry on the DA. Now we've got the whole hood buzzed down with 1500. We'll use 3000 to refine the 1500 scratches and make it easier to buff. Now that we got it all 3000, we'll use the white compound with a white foam pad. So last step, the ultra fine machine polish and the blue pad. All right, this is where my story ends here with the car. Y'all watch me tear it down, prep it, paint it, sand and re-clear it, and then I sanded and buffed the entire car, but I only showed y'all the hood because I hate buffing. If y'all missed any of my other videos on this car, please go check them out. If you would like to see more of this build, go check out his Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. But that's the end of this project, and I'll see y'all on the next one.